Hi everybody, it's McCappy Camper. I'm sitting in a ground blind that used to be my dad's that I shot my first deer in a uh, long time ago, 91 or something. But I still have the ground blind and uh, mice chewed it up out of the stuff but it still works so I'm using this to talk in because it's got the cool camel behind me but anyway to get to the point I'm here to announce the top five for the tower challenge January 2024 for the stealth camping alliance and I put a description of each little, you know, video, a little description of what I thought was interesting in each uh, video that you guys put out and gals. And uh, I didn't put any of you in specific order, so I'm just going to run down the line here uh, with camping, camp in plain sight, the wrong naked guy. He had a great looking recipe. I'm going to try that sometime. You cook by scratch. Uh, so then we got Ho oh, Jangle. That was a cool climb up the building. Uh, one of the best high risk spots I've ever seen. Location, everything. The cell tower had lights on it. Uh, saw, saw some possible woods that you could stealth camp in in the future. Hammock Mountain. You found a future location as well uh, to do a stealth camp at or near a tower and uh, your homemade hammock hammock setup on your truck that you uh, built yourself that's pretty incredible uh, out of bounds one of the most interesting stealth towers lots uh, lots of colorful scenes Nice phone recovery, but unfortunately you lost some gear to your new phone, uh, leaving it at the restaurant. That's happened to a lot of people. Yeah, so nice job there. Uh, the outdoorsman, nice forest camp gear, nice setup, nice hammock, nice sleep system. With the bug zapper that lights up, looks like a fire, ambient fire. Who's in the box? Not what's in the box. That's funny. <laughs> That's a kick. Okay, then we have, nice to hear about the camping equipment too, by the way. And nice, nice looking, uh, the guidelines coming off them. Uh, towers is probably needed to uh, for all the winds and the hur hurricanes you get down there you need tons of those guide wires to hold them towers up in your area and then uh, uh, the Maltese Falcon stealth camper thanks Andy really good stealth urban location those majestic sounds of the seagulls uh, are very tranquil the rain and water sounds were added uh, to the ambience. Very relaxing. Nice location. Nice high risk those, spot. Those towers reminded me of uh, Marina Towers in uh, Chicago. Um, camping like a boon. Camp like a boon. Super neat tower. Castle like with four large statues of like methodic creatures. Little statues on the side were interesting too. Uh, pushing up here on my head. So you kind of got to squat down in here a little bit. You know, there's a window over here. There's a window over here and in front of me with little slots in it so you can stick your weapon out there to shoot. And you can zip this off too to stand up. But uh, going back to uh, Boone's uh, the statues, and uh, it almost had a leaning tower of Pisa looking to it. Uh, at that second tower you uh, went to 
but you made a lot of effort going into that other one. You walked in through the snow. You showed us where you were going to camp. You couldn't make it in there, but you still pulled it off with a stealth camp by parking your car next to that interesting looking water tower. Never seen anything like that around here. So that made it interesting. Uh, so then we got Cush in the bush. The fire was fantastic. You made it seem effortless when it was so difficult to, tr to try to stay lit. But once you had it lit, you were really satisfied and you really liked that fire. So, and it looked like it warmed up really quick there all of a sudden, it got really bright. And uh, you can see the glow on your face. It's awesome. And it uh, looked like you were pretty close to that tower, so you could see straight up at it in the morning and at, during the night. So I like that. And uh, being out there in the cold, that's that's a lot of endurance there to, to take that cold. And... Uh, so good job there, cool tower. That's nice that you got to work on something like that, something you'll never forget. So Kevin's camping adventure, happy birthday too, to I, Kevin. Uh, it's belated now. I liked the introduction of you sliding in the floor to the hammock. It looked like you were like in Risky Business, the movie, where uh, Tom Cruise slides across the floor but you did it in the stealth camping alliance method now, we're all different you know so we got to keep it different that's good so uh not bad looking uh towers they're kind of fast by seeing you know cell towers behind the uh fire station yeah thanks for putting it out kevin jay and knight Great intro to your video, always. It starts out, it's a uh, nice uh, mystified tower, looking towers with the mist in the air. So the glowing red lights look like orbs kind of floating around out there, kind of like aliens. <laughs> so that was cool. And going down to Lake Ontario and checking out the water if you went, and, the, and the stream of water driplets coming down it really looked cool you know and then going out there by that cold water and getting a little view of that nice job nice job jay and uh, to bring up a little uh history when you were a child looking <laughs> you know out there in the back Nice little smoke hut, too. You got out there to take little breaks out there to go out and have a good time. Yeah. Okay. Yoast. You've endured, you, you've endured a lot having to go back uh, for dry shoes. When you uh, went across there the first time and you got your shoes all wet, you had to turn back. That's a pain. But you endured and you, you stuck it out. You didn't give up because you had a mission. Yeah, that mission was to draw a picture and do a painting, like a Van Gogh style. And uh, that turned out so cool. And putting the towers in there because you really couldn't stealth camp near a tower because they're all kind of like churches around the public area. And you went out there in the field and you drew a picture of it. And I really like that. It's very creative. And uh, I don't know if you put in your own music when you play the guitar, because I hear solos going on, but that is so cool, you know? So I like that, you know, with those Van Gogh-ish type pictures. And uh, let's see, who else did I miss? So we got Camp in Plain Sight. Ojangle, Hammock Mountain, Out of Bounds, The Maltese Falcon, Stealth Camper, 
camp like a boon, Cush in the Bush, Kevin's Camping Adventure, Jay and Knight, and Yost. And the Outdoorsman, Nicholas Durr, and Sue B. 860, Young Nana. It's starting to get a little light out now. I want to tell you about Sue's, uh, Sue B. Uh, her video uh, was pretty unique. It, it had a nice tower. It had history behind it. And she actually slept inside the tower. So it was risky. Somebody could have walked right in that door and whoops. Hey, you know, but you stuck it out through the night. That's brave. So, nice, nice video, Sue. Boy, who shut the lights off? <laughs> I got my lights on inside the uh, hunting blind, deer blind, I call it. Anyway, it's the next morning. <laughs> and, uh, I just had my first cup of coffee. It's about uh, close to seven o'clock, I gather. But I have the top five pick. Put my specs on. Number one, Hojangle. Congratulations. Number two, Sue 860, Young Nana, congratulations. Number three, Camp Like a Boon, congratulations. Number four, Cush in the Bush, congratulations. And number five, The Outdoorsman. Congratulations to you and congratulations to all of you and Good luck in the final. We'll have your picture up on the banner, hopefully, and we'll look forward to the February challenge next month, put out by Kathy Loves Camping. Good luck to you all there too, and uh, we'll see you on those adventures. This is McCappy Camper. Mark, we'll see you later. Good morning. Plus, I wanted to thank everybody else for doing the challenge. They were all great. I enjoyed every one of them. So, thank you. You're all basically winners. So, go out there and keep doing what you like to do. Okay, love you all. Ciao.